Hello and welcome to another episode here of Satisfactory. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy my videos. Hit that subscribe if you want to see more. And hit that notification bell if you want to get informed of when I upload a video. So as seen just there before, new loading screen, new patch or update to the experimental branch. Haven't moved to e early access yet at time recording. But I think by the time I get this video finished and uploaded, we will. So last video, we built this monstrosity. This is the start. Looks pretty ugly at the moment. <laughs> Looks like a large blue hexagonal turd. Yeah, watch your enemies. There's one. Kill them. So, between the last video and now, I have been thinking about I need to get some sort of basic process up in place. I even mentioned the last video for my. What a beautiful moonrise. I love the shadows. The shadows actually move around with everything as well. God, that moon is moving fast. Ooh, look at the waterfall. Yeah, so I have to get some sort of basic uh, factory up and running here for my concrete, my copper products, and a lot of my basic irons, like rods and plates. And I was looking here at my map, and I actually, so where I built my base has a copper impure node underneath. There's an iron impure over here, and then there's two limestone. So I'm going to need a crap ton of limestone anyways, for a lot of the building, and a lot of concrete, or the foundations and stuff as well. So I'm going to get that built in this episode. But I'm going to do a little bit unusual, and do something different in regards how it's going to look. Or even more so, <laughs> how it's going to be built. I want to um, again, Satisfaction Labs. Uh, links down below. Drop over the Discord, say hi. Drop over the Twitter, follow us. Uh, want to have a really cool community over there. Uh, take a look. And one of the community members are one of the moderators of Satisfaction Labs gave me this next idea. Uh, fly FYAJ Rocks. Uh, he's a member of the he's a moderator of the Satisfaction Labs. He built a small factory using factory carts. Did you know that factory carts actually have a storage space in them? I don't think I've it stuff on no, I've nothing in my inventory to actually make one. Yeah, they have a single compartment for transporting goods. And they don't run on fuel. They have no fuel use. So my plan here is to actually build that factory. I want to build it all out of carts. So if we look at our map here, I have my copper, my iron, and my lime. So first of all, the from the nodes to where the smelters are, I'll need to have factory carts. From the smelters to the man constructors, I'm going to need factory carts. From the constructors to the uh, storage, I'm going to need factory carts. <laughs> now, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't think I'll fit it in here. Or maybe I will. But I had a slight plan here to, to change the bottom profile of this building. Any baddies over here? Kill. Oh, can I get up here? Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? No. So I want to change the bottom profile here. It's weird how they just don't they don't line up. Or is that just my bad building? I think that's just my bad building. <laughs> Done a really bad job. <laughs> so I want to change the bottom profile here and uh, put sort of a base on this or something wider along the bottom and have the top part so this bottom floor here I'm going to remove this one uh, can I get in here no we can't I wonder can I just shove on a one of these bad boys can I get up here I nearly did it 
So this floor and the one above it is going to be changing shape. And then everything above this floor is going to have the hexagonal. Now, I moved a wall there, starting to think of doing it. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get sort of a an idea laid out. A sort of a foundation idea of what it's going to look like. And a shape. And then we're going to take it from there. And see where it brings us. But yes, factory carts. A factory run on factory carts. Sound interesting? Now the fun begins. Now it's getting down to brass tacks. Uh, so I have four miners set up here. There's my iron, impure. There's my copper. And I have. Where's that guy gone again? I see one of the ticks walking around here. He just disappeared. Did he just vanish? He did you? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> uh, two limestone. They're all impure nodes. And I'm actually thinking it might have overclocked these to a 120 add-ins per minute. So that'll be 240 limestone, 120 copper, and 120 iron. Now get back up here. So we're going to use factory carts. Now the best thing about factory carts is they have a storage spot and they can hold a full stack of items. Now they're not the funny a full stack but still they work with these guys with the truck stop. So these will load and unload our factory carts. Now another great thing about the factory carts is I don't see fuel anywhere. They don't use fuel. So I don't need to feed these with fuel, which makes it a lot easier for me to actually lay out and plan these. So what the plan is here, I have to be able to carry in the ores from both of these in under this canopy here and this is on this side here is going to be where all my limestone is made or concrete sorry so the limestone is created to concrete now I'm not sure if I'm going to have it at this level or maybe lower it down a bit uh, on the bottom two three four what I will where's my large foundation look Whether I'll have it at this level, maybe. What do you think? So I have my roadway here. Now, this is where it gets interesting also. Another thing I seen on line was these curved foundations. Where are you? These being used to make tunnels. Now, I'm wondering should I do the same? Should I? Where is the top half? If I make top half, top half, and where is the glass foundations? Stick that there. I need this to place actually one lower. So I do I make these little tunnels from my factory carts. Or, wait for a second. Yeah, okay, no, no, I need this one first. Ooh. God, around the concrete. No, I deleted the one I wanted to copy. What these little guys drive around in here? Where? Give me a second. No, I fell down. Where's one up here? Can I grab this one? It's there somewhere. Where's it? There it is. Get over here. <gasps> I might have to deconstruct them. And I have to make it in the. I have to make him in the. <laughs> I can't build him. I can't build them like this. I have to make a production. 
workshop, just to do a workshop there. Uh, where are you? Green? What? Oh no! Oh, you don't! You actually just stick them in your inventory. Oop. Now, I wonder, can we... Eh, eh. No, this won't work. I need. I need. Hmm. Reverse. Wait a minute here. Uh, foundations. It will work. I don't think it's wide enough. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so funny. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what happened? What are you doing? Quit freaking out. But if I make them wide enough, actually, I could have... I could make them for one cart, see, or do I need two carts? I need two carts going in from this one. I only need one cart maybe from this one, the turnaround would be a lot quicker. Uh, but I need to put them in a, an enclosed section like this, where I'm not going to have to worry about them disappearing or crashing off anywhere. Yeah. Um, Give me a second here and I'm going to take a look at laying out how this will look. Um, I don't really care. I might even stick down one pipe one way and one pipe the other way. And have them even, the guys offloading of this come down the same pipe and turn off here into this one unloader here. Hmm. Yeah, and then have them, they will so they're coming back here, they'll come back here, turn off, unload at one, the single unload machine. So I have one of these here, picking up everything, because I've only like one stack. So I don't need seven of these. Then they'll turn around and head down the other side. And I could have, yes, I could have one route coming down this way. One coming down this way. I have to cut down some trees. Yeah. One coming down this way. One single pipe. Uh, it doesn't matter if this runs past the loading dock here. The f one coming over because it'll be full. It'll just drive past. Then come down here. Unload. Turn around. And then go back down this way. Now you're down behind here. And then once the one for this one comes along, it'll just turn off to the right. Go back over here and head back past the loading truck station. While the other ones from over here will just speed on down here. Past the trees and bits. And then head off down here. And have two pipes side by side for the... Yeah, I have to remember that everything spawned again. With every update, every little bug and enemy has respawned. But yeah, so I'll have to get that laid out into some sort of fashion. I might have to push, I think I'll have to push maybe this, get rid of that, get rid of this, yep. Uh, that, dunk, dunk. Whoa. Yeah, give me a second, I'm gonna see can I run actually take this down. Organization mark two minor, turn it around, will it sit this way? And can I run down one way past it? Oh no oh, I can't afford. Give me some of those. Will it work? 
Yes, it will. It will work. And I can just have this one feeding into a truck stop right here. Right in front of it. And offloading here. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> so that's the limestone sort. I'll just have to build it. I'll build that up. I'm going to do something similar for the iron down here. I'll have to drop it down to a level something like this. Copper. Look, it's... I'm not running cop carts for the copper. The copper is right in the middle. Where it builds up, it will be feeding directly into the, the machines. And then that'll be... Maybe I'll transport the finished goods. Yeah, give me time after I build this out, lay everything out, uh, get all the pipes sitting down. And uh, I'll bring you back in to show you how it looks. That's time to see if this actually works. So this is just a trial run. I'm not recording any... <laughs> oh my god, it's tearing. So I have this hopefully powered up. I think this... Uh, oh, I have this set up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's come out here. So this is set up as... Yeah, that's load. Perfect. Um, use factory cart. So just double check to make sure its inventory is empty. Yep. It actually is called a golf cart. <laughs> and let's try this. Come on. Now, drive away and see if that's actually loaded up. What's up? Wait, wait, wait. Yes! Yes, it has! And away we go! Now, that dog can't turn here. No, 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 we've turned here. Oh, 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 oh. Stay straight, stay straight! No! Oh, no! I can't afford any mistakes! Now, did it empty it in that time? Yes, it did! <laughs> Alright, we have to record this path now. Um, if I remember how to record... Is it C or V or...? It's V, so... Uh, start recording. Perfect. Oh, come down upside, come down upside. Oh, that's perfect. Go around the corner. That's it. Camera. <laughs> it's gonna be as crooked as a boat horn. And pass. We don't necessarily need to sit down because this thing picks it up straight away. It's only if you have larger amounts I think you have to slow down, but this is only one stack. Come on. Come on, that's it. You can do it. Try and get the bats nice and straight. God, what happened here? Ah, oh, no, I have to clear path. Oh. It all went through. Start here again. <laughs> Start recording. <laughs> Whoop. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, stop recording. Clear path. <sighs> what? Disabled autopilot? Alright. Start recording. Try and keep it nice and straight. That's it. Perfect. And around here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep it on the left hand side of the road. We drive on the left hand here in Ireland, so that's always the right hand side. Sorry, anyone else who lives anywhere else that drives on the right. No, it's not right. Go around, around, around. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, come on. 
That's it. Keep going straight, that's it. Can have to fly so now. That's it. Finish recording. Could do it. Yes, look at it go. So up down here, goes around. That's it. <laughs> How do I pass it out? Going, come on, up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Where the hell did it happen there? And it's off again. It worked. I have a second one here. Right, now I have to set up for the other path, so use for two cards, so. Alright. Oh, get back in again. Uh, V. Start recording. And this one's gonna turn right here, so I'll slow down. Turn right here. <laughs> Turn right again. And then this one is going to drive straight past here. Perfect. That's it. Loading up. And then unload. Finish recording. Enable autopilot. And away it goes. Oh, there's this one back again. Where's the little coming? Here's it coming here. Did it get a hundred? It did. <laughs> ah, look at them. They're brilliant. That's it. Come on. You can do it. There's your little cupboard. <laughs> oh, this is so funny looking. Oh, why did you take a s swirl there? Perfect. Couldn't ask for better. Yep. Ooh, good lag. So we'll take a look here. What I built. <laughs> oh, this looks so much fun. So, I've all, as you've seen here, the pipes are all set up. We're down there also. I'd have to close everything else, but that's for. I can't do that right now. But yeah. Um, so they're pushing out 120 on both. So that's 120 in total per minute. So then what I need to do is... Why is it a bit less? Ooh. My machine's not keeping up, but that's okay. Look at... Let them tan away here. They'll work away. I'm not going to stop them. I have to now set up 
my concrete production facility here on this level. This is the only downside now is these curves. On these. Yeah, I think it's this one that's not keeping up with him going around. Yeah, is the curves here. Like, uh, this is going to be my level for this, so I might actually cut this off here and box in this whole section here to the height of the manufacturer. Even one above and put glass all on top. Yeah. That's going to be the idea for this to close it all off. So my manufacturers or my assemblers, constructors, are going to start here for my concrete. And that's where my flow is from, I mean my concrete. So only 120, so that's only just going to be three constructors being fed from this system here. Uh, that's grand, look at it. It'll tip away, it'll make whatever I need for it. So I'm going to get my constructor set up here. I'm also going to put in my line for my iron with my little factory carts. <laughs> get that set up. It's going to be a bit straighter, just a straight line out and one line back in again. As I said, this one is going to be fed directly up. This is my copper and pure node. Uh, it's going to be fed directly up into the factory here for smelters, constructors, everything like that. It's going to be around this one. So I'm going to get all of that done there because it's going to be a simple, quick layout and then we'll take a look at when it's all nicely finished, the floor is in here and we've it all laid out nicely. So we'll see you in a second which will probably be an hour or two for me, but who cares, at least we get there, see you in a second. Well, I just wanted to um, bring you on and show you this. Um, <laughs> I got three of them set up on this and I've um, um, just wait I don't know if it's going to work I don't think it is because I spent the last five minutes here just fixing the carts <laughs> wait first this is just <laughs> Hilarious. Wait for it. Hey! <laughs> oh, he landed on his feet. He landed on his feet. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think this is going to work. And actually, now, since I started recording, they don't fall. Where's the next one? There should be there. Come on, where's... There should be three of them. Something's happened. No. Uh, one. Uh, I had a third one. There's one. <laughs> oh, he let out his. Oh, where's the third guy? Wait, he's here somewhere. Where is he? There he is. I gotta try for that. Yeah, I duh. <laughs> Get back out again. Yeah, look, he's, he's on his side. Wincy. Wincy, but I don't hit him. 
Wait for it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Oh, he bounced right across him. And now he's landed on his feet. On his back. Yeah, I need to do... Yay! <laughs> he fixed himself. Why is this guy not moving? Is he stuck? He is. <laughs> or else maybe I should make a splitter here. Um, I was going to do this anyways. Oh, up to max. Yeah, I'm going to have to test this in over a longer period of time. But this is as far as I got so far. Just when I started building up. I was like, I just have to have a drop in it. But it's not working. The drop is not working properly. Well, it is actually. Maybe if I do this. Wait for it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on. So I sort of put the curve on it so they'd bounce out. There's one, two. Oh, there's... Three. <laughs> They're class. <laughs> They're just so funny. And here's our first test subject. Second one coming hard and fast behind him. Wait for it. Wee wee. <laughs> yeah, so I put the slope on so they kicked him out of it. That one's back out now. This guy is never gonna get hit there. Way. So I have to rescue him. Yeah, I put a s yeah, foundations. I had a big slope. Maybe I put a lesser slope on it. Might be a bit better. Ah, uh, come on, guys. No fighting over the paths. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> it's like sh shoved him into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to continue with my pity. What is that doing up there? <laughs> I do love standing back and watching as your plant works seamlessly, producing all of its items. And I have all of my little factory finished down here. Um, and you can see I've just I had these three set up originally for my limestone and I decided to change it now that the limestone are reduced how the machines actually run around and all the items are reduced here so all right our limestone first of all yes we produce that we produce cable uh, copper sheets copper rolls whatever you call these things whatever they are Oop, copper sheets uh, produce wire cable so that's all being produced here and heading up and out the door there so how I've set this one up I'll just show you quickly whoop all copper ingots in the back here so it's all fed into smelters oh my god I need to stand on a building give me something high to stand on copper ore from down there my nice little glass box sent to the smelters Smelters all produce the copper ingots, and the copper ingots are all fed into the machines right up to this one here. And they all, all these machine uh, con constructors here uh, work. So the first three produce the copper sheets. The next ones produce the wire. And what I've done here is this one here is a splitter, and this splits off some of the copper wire into the back of these machines for cable. And then all of these, as I said, all out here, out through the wall, there. Now again, this side, our ore comes in at the back of all these smelters, all produced into iron ingots. You can see it's a nice little tidy design like this, keeping it this way. Now I could have put these underneath all the machines, but I decided not to. I like this design here, where you look over and you can actually see, once I get this belt removed here from the middle 
you can see all the splitters and mergers. Um, so, oh yeah, the ingots are producing down here, all the way down the line here. And then all of these machines here, iron producing, uh, both iron or iron bars, iron sheet, iron plates, and screws, believe it or not. <laughs> Won't have much use for them, but they are there specifically, so I have them. Uh, they do come in handy at one point or another. So let's go take a look at where all of this goes and what it looks like. That means you go upstairs. So as you can see here, here is our products. So we've our three copper products. Then here we have our three iron products. And we have the screws appear here for in a second. Yeah, there they are. And our concrete all heading up the side of the building. So a space for two more there. So this is a design for the outside. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to put in the middle of these here. I have to straighten out some walls up there. Um, you can see where I'm going to jump off the edge here and show you this. Whoop! Quick, quick. So you can see here. This is going to be nice. A nice design on this side. I'd like. I like the looks of the actual uh, conveyor lifts on the outside. It makes the building look a bit more active. And that's why I'm planning on doing all of these on this side here. So it looks you can see them all coming over from all their different sections. Except for the plates and the bars now. They're very small, you can't see those. And under here you can see. I had to make a slight few changes to our factory cart setup. I didn't turn off the icons for these guys. Yeah, I'll show you this. That previous setup wasn't working. They kept on falling on their sides, falling on their heads, and they kept crashing. So I had to keep coming back, rescuing them the whole time. So I've just done a simple, straight forward and backwards here for this one, and it works absolutely swimmingly. I haven't come back yet to a single issue. And they're not keeping up with the production, which means I need to stick in another one here. Another factory cart. Oh, that's not even gone. Alright, so it's just that it's filled up. Alright, so I must take a look at production upstairs. Yeah, it's not flowing constantly. That news is still working. It's still producing. Reliable. <laughs> but still, <laughs> look at Get out of my way. <laughs> just shoved them out of the way. <laughs> but they are fun to watch. Definitely fun. You can see this one's keeping up here. How's the other one's doing? Yep, back out. Down to the end. I get run over by one. Yeah, here's the other one coming back. Yeah, so this is that's my basic setup, my basic supply for bits of bobs. Oh, last thing. So last thing it was just to show you this. So this is how I'm going to be showing off what's in the containers. I'm just going to place one item at the front, like this, and then I can just run up and see what's in it. Just click on it, and these will slowly fill up over time. Uh, this one will fill up pretty quick, it's coming a constant flow. I'm going to see, can I, can I, can I get back here and show you the actual layout back here. So, this is a layout back here. Oh, don't go down. So the three then come in, three, six, nine, the space here for two more. I'd probably put a... Well, it depends what comes off that side. Again, these are going to be based on what comes in at each side, not on the order they're produced. Um, and we'll take it from there. But yes, that's it for this video. Uh, another day done, another factory complete. I have to move on to a bigger things next video. Update 3 should have hit early access at that stage and then uh, we're probably recording on the full branch. Um, one thing I actually do have to look at shortly, can I get a power pole? Let me see a power pole and I'll show you, I'll make you guess what I'm gonna have to do next. That's an awful small gap. Anyways, 
see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that sub notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload a video. See you later. Slan.